So basically, here's what I'm, I'm going to talk about is that there's a post been going around the internet that is gaining traction and being talked about by um, large political streamers now accusing Ela of lying about her role in the IDF amongst a whole lot of really psychotic shit, but this one is taking the cake for me right now. Uh, so this is on one of the 20 H3 hate subreddits there are now. There's legit like five, like not to be hyperbolic. F I think there's five. There's this one that's like basically, you know. Oh yeah, here's what, I, there's another thing I wanted to talk about before I kick this off. You know, before I, I'm, I can already hear what people are saying. So let me say this. AOC had a really nice post about anti-Semitism and she's getting dragged to fucking hell, of course. People already are going to say, just to get ahead of some of the stuff, who cares about this? How can you even care about this when there's people in Palestine dying or in Gaza dying or in West Bank, whatever, Palestinians being killed? Listen, those are terrible. As I've stated a gajillion times, I've literally never said a single to the opposite. And again, you can care about two things at once, especially, by the way, when they're for the express purpose of trying to destroy Ela life and reputation for this mere fact that she's Israeli. That's, that's the only thing that, that they're able to latch on to. I mean, Ela's service in the IDF was as vanilla as it gets. Mm -hmm. And as you guys know, everybody serves in the military in Israel. So this continued effort to paint not just Ela, but all Israelis as occupiers, as, you know, part of the uh, apartheid regime or whatever people say, you know, is just, it's this never ending um, justification of basically, you know, laying the justification for killing Israelis, uh, regardless of their, of their role, you know, and I am obviously fully against that. And so I, f I find it important for me to talk about this stuff because I don't see a lot of people doing it at all, especially in left leftist circles. Okay. And so people say, dude, who cares? You know what I mean? Who cares? If people, okay. Yes, you're right. But I'm going to care. I'm about to care about two things at the same time. If you'll bear with me there. Thank you. You know, also like, it's worth talking about at a time. Here's what's happening. People are so quick. Not quick. Look, Israel deserves to be condemned. Someone says, oh, Ethan, nobody thinks that. Amy, I don't know what to tell you, but you're just wrong. People think that in droves. Almost. They don't say it, but they're, what they're, where their logic goes is basically to that. When you say all Israelis are occupiers... That means that they're all valid uh, war targets. It's not complicated stuff, and people are saying it. And I want to add that, like, you guys right here are the best of the best, and you guys understand us, and this is not stuff that we're saying you guys are saying, but we, oh, sure. we see it a lot, and we feel like we do need to talk about it just so that our voice is heard and if somebody else who's saying the nasty stuff is looking to see what we have to say about it they can find it somewhere and so you guys can know what we're going through but it's not like we know you guys <laughs> hold on katie says there's quite literally a podcast clip of Ela saying she participated all right katie just just wait i'm gonna talk about it okay did you pay just to fucking come here and say dumb shit thanks for the sub Yo, I'm going to explain everything, okay? Psychos. Um, yeah, I see people saying this is all over the internet. You know, the amount of hate that me and Ela are receiving for simply... 
Like I ch- you cannot find me saying one unsupportive thing about the people of Palestine. And you will not find me a one clip of me defending the Israeli government. It doesn't exist. People are maligning us simply because of our association with Israel. That is the only reason. Ask them to show you what did Ethan say. Or and um, same for me. I Ethan and I have the same views. I just want to make that clear too because I'm not talking about it as much because I'm not as brave as Ethan. But we have the same views, and I agree with everything Ethan says. So just want to make that clear too. Ethan, chill. She's just asking a question. What question? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, oh, shit. Somebody said that person got a free sub. That's funny. The haters are getting out there for getting free subs. Well, welcome. We love everybody on Tuesday. You're all my my children, my beautiful uh, compadres, my, my uh, comrades. Also, like, okay, so let me just talk about this. Yeah, yeah so, but it. again, like, here is, this just ha- came out, you know. People act like I'm fucking crazy for caring about this. The FBI director just put out a statement today. Anti-Semitism is reaching historic levels in the U.S. You know, like, I don't know if you guys saw in the fucking airport in uh, Dangistan, people, a literal lynch mob was going. They heard that there was a police uh, or an airplane coming from Israel. A literal lynch mob went there to try to kill them. And like, there's just no other way to interpret that. Uh, let me find that. Day- Dangistan. Dangistan airport. Israelis. Here. And as we've been reporting... Nick Ten minutes? Come on, I don't need all that. Here, two minutes. This morning, an apparent sign of present Middle East tensions reverberating thousands of miles away. New videos circulating so online quiet. showing chaos at this airport in the predominantly Muslim Russian Republic of Dagestan. Russian media reporting a mob of hundreds rushing that airport. Look at this. They're rushing through security, making their way onto the looking for people. <laughs> They're on the tarmac. From Tel Aviv. Health officials say more than 20 were injured. Israel condemning the incident pressing Russia to protect the safety of all Israeli citizens and Jews and act resolutely God dang it, Dagestan. At the Israel Gaza... Say what? Have you seen that? The French? Fr- France vows a merciless fight against anti-Semitism after anti-Jew graffiti is found in Paris. Oh yeah, and this shit is happening all the time. People are literally going up to Jewish businesses and homes putting Star of Davids on them. Do you, you guys remember the context of that, right? The last time that happened? Yeah. Is it called Dangistan? I just... I don't think so. Let me look up. How do you say it? I mean, yeah, the, the amount of hate crimes is crazy. Now, there's a lot of Islamophobia too, right? And right. that's fucking disgusting equally. Yes, and I hate to see islamophobia rise as well because we get to work with lovely people here as you guys know and i just i hate that this is happening i and i i just want people to know that this is my stand as well so um like people there's so many people and listen if you disagree with me you're just not looking or at least not in those places i am and I'm not seeking it out. These are like every fucking left wing person that I follow or watch with the exception of like David Pakman. It's like they don't want to fucking hear about anti-Semitism because, you know, you're not allowed to care about two things at once. This is what I see happening. People, they want to f- fight the monster that is the Israeli government so bad. And so many people are, in fighting the monster, becoming the monster. You cannot trade one genocide for another. Okay? And, and that's what I see happening. 
Now, this is part of the... Um, oh, yeah, what happened? I, I was showing this. Sorry, guys, one sec. I keep getting all distracted by dang, God dang, Dagestan. God, dag, gabbit, dag, gabbitistan. FBI director says anti-Semitism reaching historic levels in the U.S. This is a threat that is reaching in some way sort of historic levels, he said. The Jewish community is targeted by terrorists really across the spectrum. In fact, our statistics would indicate that for a group that represents only 2.4 of the American public, they account for something like 60% of all religious-based hate crimes. Um, meanwhile, you've got AOC, you know, who's like the darling of the left, who's actually out here echoing what I said. And, and I mean, I'm really, frankly, proud of her to see somebody make this so uncontroversial and just really just a humanistic um, statement of not becoming the monster yourself. She said, now more than ever, we must emphasize the importance of separating people from governments. Anti-Semitism is disgusting and unacceptable. We have a responsibility to defend our Jewish brothers, sisters, and siblings from hatred. No movement of integrity should tolerate it ever. So beautiful, you said. Yet, it's met with considerable outrage. Let's see. This is one of the top comments. And the anti-Muslim rhetoric, a Muslim woman was stabbed to death only yesterday. The po the po she literally posted before, right before. She posts her tweets a lot. No, here it is. She just posted and she's been talking at at no length, at great length, obviously, about Palestine Palestinian people's uh, struggle that they're going through, the plight. And so, again, there's so many, they don't want to hear. They say, the fuck the Jews? Who cares about the Jews? The Palestinians, man, we can only talk about them. We can only care about one thing at a time. What is this? Why is Islamophobia only a footnote in this conversation? It's really not. It's not. Again, maybe it depends what media you're watching. I don't know. In my spaces, it's not. I guess you could say that on popular or mainstream media it is. But I don't watch that shit. And so when I see everybody I follow, you know, talking one way, that's just my perception. And these are the people that I'm... Of you know, these are people I want to talk to. AOC, you missed the opportunity. I think these ones don't have that many likes, actually. Here, this one is a thousand. How about Islamophobia and the Muslim uh, pediatricians who were killed and stabbed to death in Texas, or the Muslim child? When did she say she didn't care about that? I'm against all kind of extremism and definitely against the anti-Semitic. But please, if you're going to highlight that. Do it on both sides. Dude, she literally... Again, you can't... You can't say anything defending uh, Jewish people. It's not, as they say, kosher. <sighs> anyway, so here's the post that's been making its rounds. So this psycho fucking person, full-on uh, psycho posting... And her position, are, I don't know if it's a girl. I don't know why I assume it's a girl for some reason. Although I... Say when you don't know. Yeah, so... During the HG Podcast episode 33, Ethan interviews Hila about her time in the IDF. Here's a link with a timestamp that... It go, uh, Hila says that she was first given a desk job but had then requested to be placed with a brigade because she thought it was too boring and she wasn't... Uh, she wasn't... She wanted to do something more exciting. Okay, already wrong. It's like if you're gonna make a post like that, check your facts you know, and don't lie. Off. I said that I wanted to switch jobs because I hated the first job that I got, which was like a daytime office job. You go, you come back every day, go back to your parents' house. I submitted for a change. Now, when you submit for a change, you don't know what you're gonna get. I never said that I wanted to go to a brigade. 
you just submit for a change and pray that you're gonna like what you get then i was placed in the next place okay already wrong people are saying what's wrong about posting information that, first of all the information is oh, wrong yeah, the information true. is wrong and second of all what is the motive of us digging into this Hold on. jewish people are not the target of genocide get it through your thick skull have you read hamas charter just saying i can can you care about two fucking things jewish people are not the target of genocide get it through your thick skull Can you care about two things? Do you really want to become the monster? You're becoming a monster. You know what I mean? Uh, and again, I'm not the fucking enemy. I'm like fully in agreement. But anyway, they I'm, I'm, let me focus on the post. I'm not going to read the fucking chat because some of y'all are just wilding out. Um, they linked, first of all. So again, this information is not true. In fact, it's intentionally lying to make Ela look like a uh, a murdering uh, you know military freakazoid or whatever so the link to provide doesn't even go to the right spot water <laughs> they link. and gaza doing weird shit to control uh, make land grabs and stuff yeah, <laughs> it's literally a link to me criticizing the israeli government that kind of stuff is like, yo, what are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. But when you come to Israel and then you, you what you hear is people criticizing. So I don't, I don't even frankly know what they're referencing here, but people take it for granted without even clicking it. But I do remember what Ela said. It's that she wanted to switch. She was bored at her first outpost. Not because she wasn't getting to fucking kill enough Palestinians, but because she just didn't like the people at her at her station and she wanted to go around be around new people I didn't, right? I didn't like the people i didn't like the whole routine of it it was to take a bus every day travel to this dark ass office that i felt depressed at and going and then go back home at the end of the day and i just felt like i was wasting my life away i felt like every day i was wasting my life that's how i felt and so i wanted to try something else before i completely like decide to quit and go to jail basically volume up can you guys not hear um how's the vo is the volume okay I'll, I'll i'll take a look in the chat to see <laughs> but yeah so they here they claim that she thought it was too boring and she wanted to do something more exciting uh so she wanted to be placed with a brigade so that already is insanely bad faith framing which everybody takes for granted. They didn't even click the link as far as I could tell. Then they continue. Ela eventually joined the, how do you say that? Kfir? <coughs> the Kfir Brigade. More specifically, the Duhifat Battalion. This video gives you an idea of what these battalions are like and how they view themselves, as this video was shot and edited by one of their soldiers. Look at this shit, dude, you guys. Who's taking this seriously? This is a clip from fucking... 1967 1967 <laughs> This is the proof that Elo was part of some genocidal uh Did people take this post seriously and it's not and it's fucked up. I have to address it. You know, and by the way, the context of this, not to defend it, because I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about or what this is, but the context at least then, too, uh, again, not to defend them, but 1967, there was a, a massive war where three neighboring countries tried to fucking er, remove Israel from the map, right? 1967 war in Israel. The Six-Day War, which was... Six Day War was a um, Egypt, Syria, and Jordan uh, started basically a unprovoked, or I don't know if it was unprovoked. I'm not a historian, but they basically coordinated uh, to do a fucking invasion of Israel and to basically kill every Jew there. And so, you know, whatever these guys are talking about is in the context of that. Uh, all that being said, though, I'm not defending them. I, I don't give a. F I just think it's insane that somehow this is some credit about how crazy Ela's uh, uh, brigade was. So okay, there it is. During the podcast, Ela says she doesn't know what her position was called, 
but that she worked directly under the main officer. Ethan then suggests that she may have been a secretary. However, this is not true. <laughs> and here, this part is important because they bolded it. And I'll actually zoom in a little bit because this part is really important. It says, Ela was actually a corporal in the Duke of Fat. Duke of Fat. Duke of Fat. Not Duke of Fat. Duke of Fart. In the Duke of Fart Battalion and had completed at least eight months of combat training. This, <laughs> this is just like, I can't. I can't take this seriously, but I have to because this is crazy. So this person doesn't know what they're talking about at all. I was in Duhifat, yes, which is like a base. And Duhifat is like the name of that base, I guess. And then it's a part of a bigger, I was saying it and funny enough, it's the foot soldiers is what um, Khativat Kfir. So Duhifat is under Kfir. And I was placed there, not knowing what I was going to do. But anyway, yes, I was a secretary. Now, when I didn't know how to directly say stuff, it was because translating like army language into English, I have no idea. That's way out of my like everyday kind of language vocabulary that I've accumulated. So when you ask me stuff about the army in English, I have no idea how to translate stuff. But my actual job, yes, was a secretary. There was a... a uh, see again I don't know the words like the the base or whatever I, the base that I was at there's the person at the top there's two people at the top that manage everything right so I was their secretary translate it how, however you want oh and eight months hell no I did one month of basic training everybody does that no matter what you're going to be you're going to be a chef that in the kitchen you still do that everybody does that it's just four weeks of basically they just kind of like play with you and torture you because they're like, well, now you're in the army. So forget about having your own like time and your privacy and stuff like that. It's just we were out in the desert. You sleep in tents and they just give you like two minutes to run over there. One minute to come back. One minute to do jumps. One minute to um, do push ups. And the whole day is like that. They just kind of like torture you a little bit. Um there's a very little bit of gun, like shooting training, but I never used a gun after that. I never had a gun after that. Are you sure? Because this person wrote it in bold. Yes, I'm sure. Mods. <laughs> Mods. Yeah. Oh, so listen. I don't know. I don't know much about the Six Day War. The 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 three countries were. Uh, mobilizing on the borders of Israel, clearly uh, planning an invasion. And that's what that war was. Okay. But again, I don't really, I'm not here to talk about that. But if you guys want to watch this video again, I can do it. Yeah. 1967. What would, what, what, in what other world do you post an army from 1967? Like, it, what, was America in Vietnam then? They're like, look what the American military is doing right now. And they show a clip of Vietnam. When was Vietnam? War. 1955. Oh, quite a bit before that. So was that Gulf War time? When was Gulf it War? Matter. It's just funny. I'm just trying to, I just put it in context that people understand how silly it is. Just look at the footage. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So they said, um, here, yeah. So you are actually a corporal. I don't uh, know what's a corporal, but I wasn't whatever corporal is. <laughs> well, I guess a corporal is a, is a private who, I, I don't really know. I just looked it up. It's a private who manages other soldiers i guess i manage nobody like a private too I was sitting at a computer and i was managing the schedule of my boss i was a secretary so well here's the proof Hila. so maybe maybe just wait <laughs> the first bit of proof we have for this is elis beret in order for idf soldiers in the kif kvir battalion to earn their spotted beret they must complete eight months of combat training and march 70 kilometers <laughs> No. Okay, this is wrong. And their evidence, by the way, is a link to soldiers walking. Okay, this is wrong. You don't get the beret hat based on what what this person said. The spot. So yeah, 
No, everybody in that base had the same hat, okay? So the hat doesn't mean that I did eight months of training, combat training, and all that bullshit. So the, again, this person doesn't know what they're talking about. And then other they're people... They're lying on purpose. It's a long Reddit thread with links, so other people take it very seriously and start quoting this. It's crazy. Uh, she... This person is intentionally lying, um, basically, to stoke disgusting hatred against Ela. Uh, for Ela has not done anything wrong. She has never hurt anybody. I've, I've never even been in a fight with anybody outside of the army or in the army. Maybe I should. Maybe I need to get some energy out, but I never fought anybody. Get your ass beat, I think. I don't think you're much of a fighter. You know what I mean? I agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Not that I'm a grave. I, I would get my like, ass kicked too. Most like people. It. There's not many people in this world I could beat up. So anyway, this person again speaking with utter insane confidence. She says, Kafir recruits must complete eight months of combat training in order to receive into active service. The first four months of training are dedicated to basic training in which the soldier learns discipline and are introduced to physical fitness and various weapons. Yes, the, that's the basic training that I did and everybody does. Five weeks. Or four. I remember it four, but maybe it's five. After basic training, they receive three to four months of advanced training in urban warfare, advanced weaponry, fighting from armor, personnel carriers, chemical warfare, and other challenges of today's battlefield. Again, so there's other, there are uh, different divisions of this massive uh, brigade if you look this is the biggest brigade of what are essentially marines in the israeli army and so if you're a soldier then this is true if you're administrative then this is not true you do you do four or five weeks of basic training and that's all you do that's it. There's just it's just not that complicated. And the way that people critically accept this is really sad, frankly. Um, you know, the other thing that I should say at the top that makes this whole thing kind of funny is that, again, when you you served in the military about 2005, I think, is when you joined. Let me put this in perspective for you guys. Since the IDF opened up combat roles to women. The number of female combat soldiers has been steadily increasing. The number rose from 435 in the whole ass army in 2005 up to a staggering 547 by 2012. Staggering. There, there's almost, virtually no women in the soldiers division. And by the way, every single woman fighter is serves in the same battalion, which is the Carousel Battalion. So there are no women fighters in that brigade, period. They don't exist. They're just don't, they're not there. And once again, like. And, and once you do choose to do the combative kind of <laughs> service as female, you do three years like men. And um, otherwise women do two years, which is what I did. Yeah, I don't know where they got the corporal thing. Uh, I guess maybe we'll get to that though. But um, we cannot see your screen. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so, like, again, Ela was one of the 400 decorated uh, female soldiers. Again, zero women soldiers in that whole brigade. Thank you. You know, and it's like, first of all, we can have a separate conversation on people who are fighters in the IDF. The insinuation that's really fucked up here is that she lied about that the implication is that she did horrible things in the IDF that she's covering up. Oh, Ela was just a secretary. Mm-hmm, sure. She was a Navy SEAL. So anyway, uh, moving on. You guys can see now. Let's see. <sighs> They're allowed to wear their camo and beret and red cam uh, command boots. Again, this is the article. It's just an article about the... Again, this person is wrong. I didn't have the red boots. I don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. They do know what they're talking about. They're lying intentionally. Okay, sure. They're sick fucks, man. Um, let's see. Here's a beret ceremony. 
An, an additional ceremony is the Tekes Kumta. Do you know what that is? Ceremony yeah, of the Beret? Tekes Kumta, yeah. The ceremony... doesn't mean anything. What do they want? This ceremony, which follows the Masa Kumta, March of the Beret, is when combat soldiers receive their core berets. It may take place at the end of basic training or at the end of advanced training. Oh, fuck. It's almost right. like you answered your own question. Exactly. And at the end of the basic training, they do the ceremony. And I got my basic ass hat, which is not the one that you see in this picture. Go down a little. Yeah. So here. By the way, creepy talking. shit. I don't know where they fucking pulled this from. I, it, it's in a video, so I don't. Maybe it's from an old video of ours that I don't remember. But it is creepy. So this hat is the one that I had in this Duhifat place, okay? But when I finish the basic training, you get a basic one. So I had a different hat then. So they think they're onto something about me lying. I don't know. <laughs> I just the even the, the idea of you as like a super soldier, frontline fighter is so funny to me. Just how fucking far off it is from the truth. You know, um, so let's see. Yeah. Each soldier receives a beret in the specific color of the corps or brigade in which she was serving. Let's see here. And then they link to a parent's informational pamphlet for lone soldiers, parents of lone soldiers. What the fuck is this? Do people even look at these sources? I don't think they do. Guys, here's all the evidence you need. Informational packet for parents of lone soldiers in Israel. Cool, man. Yep. It's all here. It's all here, guys. You think that you would be a little more specific with your uh, citation. Here it is, guys. It's all here. There it is. Actually, you know what's funny? Wait, oh, what's a lone soldier when they don't have family in Israel? Oh, so they have different conditions, right? Yeah. That's usually people that are like doing, like migrating there and then they serve. Yeah, like, because, you know, Israel a lot, has a lot of migrants from like Ukraine and Russia and mm -hmm. other places. So well, they're not from Dagestan. Sometimes uh, those people will not have family. And when you're at the army, it's a big thing because you don't make enough money to do it, to support anything. Um, so, yeah. This I do love how fun the, how fun they make the IDF look though. It looks so fun. That, that is, the American Army does the same fucking thing. Uh, I just I'm sure that there's probably even contrary information uh, in this pamphlet. So I'm looking for ones about like women. Uh, but anyway, this is for lone soldiers, which is a specific category of soldier so i guess something in there is interesting maybe read the whole thing and i guess provide the source so here's Ela can be seen with the beret tucked under her jacket's shoulder strap again it's a generic beret that everybody there wore i don't know what the fuck they're on about it can also be seen with a beret here but it is the standard idf general corps green and not the multi-spotted kfir battalion beret Based off of this, we conclude that these photos we most commonly see of Ela serving were all taken in the first few months. Okay, and your point is? The point is that this is you in basic training, Correct. but then you graduated to the Kafir, the or the far, or what is it called? Kafir. What was the uh, funny? Fart. The Dookie Fart. fat. <laughs> the Dookie Fart. You graduated to the Dookie Fart brigade. Dookie Fart is such a beautiful word. How do you find a way to ruin that? Um, so that is correct, but it doesn't mean that I was a combat soldier at Duhifat. No. This was, this... Basic training. This picture of me here is me, 18 years old, with the first time holding a gun. So that's why you guys see me also, like, there's another picture where I have my, my finger on the trigger that you're not supposed to do. Like, yeah, put the two together. I didn't know shit. I was 18 and it's my first four weeks there. And after that, I didn't even have a gun anymore. And yes, then I was transferred to the other place. So what do you, it just, just for clarity, what do you do during your four weeks of basic training? Just like, um, it's kind of like what they said. It's like, um, 
they teach you basically you have like your commander and you can't like the commander um won't even smile at you you know it's very much like you can't break character they say so the commander is only very serious with you and just give you orders to go there to do this do that like your whole day is just broken into like things you need to do and then at night you sleep in a shitty tent and you did not shoot at any no palestinians during your basic training time oh no, no. i shot at just probably like um just objects you know you like, shot you like did, at the shooting range so you did practice shooting probably a couple of times yeah okay hmm. i'm gonna have to look into that <laughs> further she has fired a gun people uh but according to her not at anybody so here is Elon basic training, which is proof that she's a murderer. Not everyone in the Kavir Brigade is awarded the multicolored camo beret. You have to. <laughs> here you can see members of the brigade, most of which do not have the beret, but okay, the before, standard green one instead. Before I have to go, let's talk about this topic because this is the one that's also really annoying. Uh, oh, I think the comment was just removed. About how, we, me going on the raid. Let's just talk about that because I have to leave. Sure. So hold on. Um, this is all. This is like straight up 4chan schizo posting. Like I don't even know what to say about this. Well, this is the, at this point. I was at the same base as the other one that they showed me. It's just here. I'm wearing my a, 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 a uniform A, which is like the formal one, and the other one is like your B uniforms, which is like if you're going when you're leaving the base you need to wear your a uniform and look formal mm -hmm. when you're in the base you can wear the other one which one is this this is the a this oh. is when i came to meet you okay. at birthright and here i'm wearing the b uniform but i was at both of these photos at the same place i don't know what they think they're proving <laughs> uh that well i don't know i mean hmm you pretend like you know what you're talking about, but if you're not writing it in bold, then we don't, we're not sure how to feel about it. Okay. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. Apparently only, <laughs> oh, so here's like a drill sergeant wearing the camo beret and they're saying Ela was a, she had the camo beret. So she was like high up. I, just, well, I don't know what the fuck they're even on about. That's crazy. Did you notice the difference between the camo and the normal one? I honestly don't remember. This was so long ago. I don't yeah. remember. Maybe I got a special hat from my um, commander. I don't know. Because I was like the top commander's secretary. I don't know. It doesn't mean that I was in combat. It just doesn't. So. And then so there's the one. I'm trying to find the YouTube link. Oh, here it is. Because th this moron didn't even do a proper timestamp. So I have to fucking find. Sizing national security. You Where was it? Tax and... But when we, when Ela was a kid, was it up here? Fuck, I don't remember. Wish this person did a better job of sourcing their evidence for me. They need to be able to live their life, right? What do you stand yeah, for? That's, Give the, to that's my main. There. <coughs> Forced up. Because you, what, what did you do? What was your role in the military? Okay. Was this it? Um, at first, I was given a role that, that was like. Oh, another psycho lie that I see people saying. They edited it out of the podcast. We have not edited a single fucking thing uh, out of this. Right. Yeah. You know, again, it's this insinuation that there's this massive cover up to protect yeah. Ela's true murderous past. Uh, did we have? There's no cuts in this. An office. Uh, it's all in, still here. To my house in Tel Aviv, mm -hmm. and it was kind of like going to a day job in an office. Mm. Um, it's that. Ugh. Small. I had to like logistically and a bus filled hmm. different posts. I don't like <laughs> yet out that form and I tried it and I go back home every day. My house you gone for always. I ah, where is it? That brigade has like a main officer. Kind of oh, more shit. rewarding because you're put in this weird situation. Bruce just woke up. Situation hmm. where you like you don't you're away from your house. You have this new group of people. Ah! Here, the jeep, like right next to my head. Did you? Did it like dent? Okay, here it is. You drive, but so um, it, yeah, they took him. That in. So one time I, and um, 
So I always saw them preparing for it. And Hi, sweetie. And then I, I would stay in the base. Mm. So one time I wanted to go. And okay, I, I did find it. Okay. Hila's photo that were in How We Met at the Holocaust Museum video showed that Hila had the rank of corporal based on the two stripes. Now, I tried to confirm that. I don't, I don't, here, I don't know if that's true. Hila said... That the two stripes is like the lowest. Well, here they have. Let's see. Here they have the whole ranking system here. Bro, it's on the bottom. It couldn't. It can't be lower. This is the one. This is. This is her rank right here. It's literally at the fucking bottom. The only thing below it is nothing. What the fuck? Like it's it's just so intentionally dishonest and so purposefully mean spirited. By the way, one thing that's kind of always thought was funny that the high ranking guys they have these little circles. Like I don't know if it's a leaf or what to express their rank, and they're called falafels. Like they call him falafels? That doesn't sound tough. He's a three falafel general. I was like, the fuck? Three, two stripes is commander general. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but in the IDF, it's literally the lowest rank there is. It's the bottom. I just looked. It's literally the bottom. Yeah, it's basic. Chief private. I think that just means you finish that's basic just, training, that's probably. Just everybody. Yeah. So, okay. Convenient. Looks like all these dudes have high, more stripes than this girl with the two. Like, this dude's got all, they're all striped up. You know what I mean? They're probably combat. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Uh, Ela claims that she only posed with other soldiers' firearms for photos and that she was non active role in the army. In reality, the army doesn't hand out stripes, berets, or pins just for fashion reasons. Ela earned those and was at the very least trained in combat. Wrong. One word, wrong. So this level of dipshit researched, intentionally dishonest crap is making the rands around the, the uh Did you find the one that you were looking for? I did, I did. In the top comment is stuff like, this is insane. Are you going to post this to TikTok or Twitter? We have to keep sharing this. It's way too good to keep just to Reddit. Um, psycho shit. So here's the uh, timestamp. Right. She went, yeah. Right. In Armada to, to arrest terrorists. And... Um, so I always saw them preparing for it and leaving, and then I, I would stay in the base. Mm. So one time I wanted to go with them just to experience it. Why? You just were all of a sudden had an urge to go with them? I just wanted to see what it's like. Right. I wanted to see it. Okay. So, um, it was, yeah, they took, him, they took me with them one night, even though they weren't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Did they armor your ass up? Okay, um, hold up. Pause, you're you driving in. Where did I say that I went because I was bored? Because that's what people are saying. They're saying Ila was bored, so she went on a raid. Never said that. I said that I was curious they because never cited you saying that, by the way. Because I every day that's what I saw them prepare for and go and come back. And so I wanted to see what it's like. I wanted to see what it is they're doing. I was curious. And second, I even say here they took me with them one time, even though they're not supposed to, because it was not my job. I was not trained for it. I was not supposed to go. I didn't have a gun. They did it just because I asked and I'm cute. You asked and because you're cute? Yeah. You said that? Is that what you said? I'm joking. Yes, oh, wow. that's what I said. I didn't know that. <laughs> this like jeep that's... People saying stop slurping. I'm so far away from the microphone. <laughs> Here, I'm going to lean all the way back. Uh, bulletproof. Right. So I was in the jeep. Mm -hmm. And then um, <laughs> as soon as we entered Ramallah, the 
people in the city started shooting us. Wow. And I heard like a bullet here, the Jeep like right next to my head. <laughs> did you, did it like dent or just no, you, heard you just it? hear it? It's a gnarly armored Jeep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I mean, it was just interesting. <laughs> they were shoot. So someone actually was shooting the car when you went in there mm -hmm. right away. Yeah. Huh. Did you have a gun on you? I didn't. You were not supposed to leave. You weren't armed? Are you sure you weren't armed? I'm feeling inconsistencies in the story. Somebody investigate. Well, they, they on one hand want to cite this as evidence, but then when it contradicts, they'll say you're covering it up. Mm. It's like, are we telling the truth in this interview or are we lying in this right. interview? You can't have it both ways. You know what I mean? Why the fuck would we even do this interview? If we felt there was something to hide in her past, it's still up unedited. Okay, fuckers. No, yeah, not really. But even if I, I mean, I I walked with them to one house. Okay. I did get out of the car once, but but surrounded with them. So. Okay. Did they arrest anyone that night? They did. Did they bring it in the same car with you? No. Oh, different you go, car. There's a few cars going. Damn, that's crazy. Was it like how did you feel? Was it horrifying? It was strange. I can't wait a second. I'm almost done. It just, oh, yeah. it says, it's complicated. It, it just says it's not connected. Oh, I'll tell you the middle button. Oh, okay. let me show show me. I, At the top, the um the one with the music note. Yeah. Just push it every ten seconds. You have to <laughs> give it some time to settle. You push it. Wait. If the smart TV option doesn't come up, push it again in 10 seconds. Okay, because it has, I'm not connected. I push TV. Yeah, that's, it, yeah, push okay. that button. The TV button? The one with the music note. Okay, all right, let's try that. Let's try it. Very weird. How so, like, how so? Um, did you get out of the car? One time. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Just... You see people in the house, and then it's like the soldiers go just walk into the house and look through their shit and find guns, and the whole thing is really surreal. They just <clears throat> do they knock or they just like kick down a door and charge in? I didn't really see that whole. Mm. I don't know exactly how that was. Does it feel like a normal neighborhood, or does it feel like oh this is scary? No, it actually looked like a nice city. That's strange. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I mean, from their perspective, well, it's so complicated. Yeah. From their perspective, it's like, fuck these guys. But they go specifically to. Oh my God! I'm almost like even empathizing with um. Impossible. The Palestinians in this fucking clip. I don't know. That's that's basically the heart of the accusation, right? Is that you went on this. Yeah. So. There's that. And so here's the schiz schizo post. I'm going to take this out of my mouth for you guys. That's being passed around the internet. Um, uncritically accepted as proof that Ela is a murderer, murder, or even more, that you're covering up your dark history. other notes here it was like uh, yeah the thing is like once again the amount of fucking dogpiling and fucked up shit people have been saying about both of us you cannot find me in one motherfucking clip saying anything you disagree with it's only it's only through insinuation or I don't like that he's focused on Israelis right now, stuff like that, that I'm the fucking enemy number one. And don't you see how perverse that is? It's really messed up, man. It, it, it's really it's really been really gross. And, th and then this kind of shit, too. Oh, here's another one I see people bringing up about you that's proof that, like, I guess you're an IDF simp. Um, 